The main villain of the zombie zoo movie throws people who couldn't pay debts owed to them to the zombies so they become part of the exhibit. <laughs> It's an easy way to get money back, isn't it? You're now part of the exhibit. So yeah, the next game is a Phoenix Games video game. What a surprise. What a surprise it would be on here. Cyberpunk Interactive worked closely with them. Polar Rampage. I've played this before, and I was looking at Phoenix Games video games back in the day. So, uh... I thought I'd include it again, seeing as it is still a DS game, so... When it gets overrun, they break out, and Arnold arrives with a bazooka and kills everyone in the film. Yep. I, I, you know, I'd watch that. I think that'd be quite good. In AC... 20, in, in AC 2500, 10 million people live in flood risk area in Metropolis City. The government has recently discovered that melting icebergs are increasing the water level in nearby rivers. Therefore, the government has an important role in warning the citizens and finding solutions urgently before the flooding becomes an insolvable problem. Dr. Minofsky, the scientist, has developed a robot that can destruct all icebergs without increasing the water level. Let's start the mission. This narrative sounds like Flyland. I've not heard of Flyland, but I know this game is a copy. Of, um, this game is a copy of Caveman Rock. Of a game we've actually all already played on stream today. So, uh, which was called Rock Blast. So isn't that nice? It's the exact same game. Just with different color icebergs. I'll swap the uh, the perspective around so you can see better. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, we've already played this game on stream tonight. Rock Blast, which was a port of Caveman Rock. And they re-released the game again, but changed it to a robot setting. That's all they've done. You even have the same thing of, like, hatching dinosaurs. Now you hatch robots. And there we go. Flyland is a game where the story is that a billionaire purchased a piece of land floating into the air and put bees and horses onto it. <laughs> okay. Interesting, because he hates horses so much and can't get rid of them, so he abandons them on his flying <laughs> land flying in the air. Dude hates horses so much. I find that quite funny. The dude, the dude hates horses so much he puts them. I was like, I'm gonna put them in the sky. Screw those horses. I don't like the way they look at me. They feel like they're laughing at me all the time. What are they saying? They're just neighing at me. Just neigh, neigh, and neigh. I just, I just can't stand it anymore. I feel like they're making fun of me. So this is an exciting game, isn't it? It's just a puzzle game. Uh, what you'd expect to see on like an Android iOS device. But here it is as a DS game. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's... It's, it's a game that really doesn't really need to be on the DS. I dread to think what they charged for this game when it came out. There we go. Stage clear. Believe me, the story is more complicated than that. It's a series, a trilogy. There's three games in the Flyland trilogy. Okay. It must have done reasonably well, even for the kind of insane storyline that that has. For it to get like three, like I said, three games. stage clear again. It 
So yeah, we keep, keep charging the little robots, and so now we have all the all the robots to help us while we're playing, even though we don't really need need them at all. And there we go, stage clear. Such an exciting game, isn't it? So exciting. Having the time of my life playing this. Time of my life. Let's charge up the blue one, why not? So he's charged now. Basically his hope was for the horses to trot off the edge and off the fly land and fall off to die. <laughs> just just kill the horses at that point. Why does he have to go through such like intricacy? Just, just at this point, at that point, just, just get rid of them. Stop like messing around with the stupid horses. There you go, stage clear. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff indeed. I'll wait until uh, it unfreezes. There we go, stage clear. So yeah, I, I don't. Is there any point to continue playing Polar Rampage? Like I said, it's not necessarily a bad game. It's just, a, it's just unnecessary. It's just unnecessary shovelware. And a, it's a blatant rip-off of a game that they've previously made. It's not like the, the uh, Dream Salon and the Dream Jit Dancer games, which very clearly are using the same template as the Barbie game they made, right? That Cyber Planet Interactive uh, made. This is a very very ba this is basically the same game just with a palette swap. That's all it is. It's ridiculous. But fortunately, they had the horse sense and stayed on the flyland forever. And to combat this threat, the billionaire deploys floating robotic spheres to fight the horses and reclaim the flyland so that he can sell the flyland and make the profits. Why put the horses on there then? If he, it's like, if he's like, ah, this flyland is like my, my, like, land. I'm going to fill it with my, the thing I hate the most. But oh no, now I need to sell the land to gain profit. Hates horse like that. It's like the memes that goes, uh, "Hates horses, moves horses to unoccupied land." Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Profit? Question mark. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, let's move on to the next game.